guys, it's Ivan, and today I will show you how to create a textured beats and haunting leads in the style of Burial. Many people still question who exactly is Burial. Is it Fortet, is it Banksy, or is it something way, way darker? UK born, he is known for creating music in the style of Future Garage with distinct taste for Foley sounds and sampling various sources, from famous pop tracks to video game sounds such as Metal Gear Solid. His beats always have a dark broken texture vibe to them, consisting mainly of samples, Bass is typically a low-end sub or breeze bass, and the lead sound similar to flutes buried in a reverb to create a sense of distance. Today we have prepared three little systems. One was the ground control and Godspeed that will be used to program the drums and the melodic voices. Second case was the Ghost and Airstreamer 4 that will be used to process the bass sound. And a bigger case over here was Queen of Pentacles and Two of Cups combo, doing drums, and another Godspeed with Ghost to create the lead sound. Everything is mixed via the cockpit over here that is used to apply some sidechain to the melodic voices. So let's start with the drums. For this we have pre-prepared six samples, four for the Queen of Pentacles over here that are hi-hats and snares, and two for the Two of Cups that have noise effects which will add more character to the beat. Let's set the BPM to 127 and start with the kick drum. As you can see, I have already pre-patched all of the drum sounds, with the first track going to kick, and then we're also splitting it to do the sidechain for the cockpit. The second is going to the first sample, third is going to the second sample, the four and five are going to the sample three and four, and then finally, track six and seven is going to be triggering two of cups, which we are feeding into the aux input of the Queen of Pentacles. This way we can mix it in with all of the drums from the Queen, and can also process it with the internal effects. Let's hear the kick pattern. This is a typical two-step garage pattern. Now that we have our core beat, let's start sequencing and recording all of the patterns for the rest of the drum sounds. So the first one we're going to record is this first sample of the closed hi-hat. So let's start the sequence and start recording our pattern. The second sample is the open hi-hat over here. So let's again start the sequence and start recording it. Now the next drum sound is going to be the snare. So let's start the sequence once again and record it. The next sound is the second snare over here, and we're going to use it on weak beats, creating more groove in our drum pattern. So let's start our sequence and record it. It is important to mention that for this kind of beats, you really want to add some shuffle or swing. So to do that, we can press tempo shuffle and set it above the 50 percent now that we have our core beat ready we can start adding some textured noises the first one sounds like this and we're going to shorten the decay with the envelope so we don't hear the whole sample but it's going to add some texture to the groove let's start the sequence Now for the last drum sound, it sounds like this. So let's start the sequence and record it. Now that the beat is ready, we need to destroy it a little bit. And to do that, we're going to start modulating the filter cutoff on the Queen of Pentacles using one of the tracks on the ground control. To do this, we're going to use the second track on the ground control. We'll take out the pitch CV output and patch it to the filter cutoff on the Queen of Pentacles. 
Once you patch a cable to the filter cutoff input on the Queen of Pentacles, this knob acts as attenuator, so really, we don't really want to keep it in the middle, we want to adjust it a little bit higher, so we get a wider range for the modulation. Now let's start the beat and start recording some of the notes on the track 2. As you can hear, we have way more texture. We can also start playing with the resonance. And let's adjust the open high head decay. Now it's time to make the bass line. For this, we'll need two oscillators to create a unison bass. To do this, we'll use one of the God Spits over here and one Airstreamer 4 in the oscillator cycle envelope mode. Usually for this we would use a mixer, but this time since we are limited with space, we'll feed the God Spit to input 1 on the Ghost and the Airstreamer 4 to input 2 on the Ghost. This will create an interesting stereo effect and the difference between left and right inputs will become less apparent once we start adding effects such as reverb. Additionally, we'll use the new feature on the Ghost reverb, namely the Tilt EQ. We'll use it to cut off the low frequencies and this will help us maintain a consistent low end. So let's take out the even odd output from the Godspeed, patch it to input 1 over here. And let's also take out the bipolar minus 5 to plus 5 output on the air streamer and patch it to input 2. Since it's a voice, we need to modulate the VCA and to do that, we'll use the built in envelope on the Ghost. So we just take it out from the envelope output and patch it to pre-VCA. Next, since we are sequencing both of the oscillators from the same source, we'll just have to split the signal from the track number one on the Godspeed and patch it to both oscillators. And at last, we'll have to patch the gate output from the track number one to trigger the envelope which will be the sidechain input on the Ghost. Now let's tune both of the oscillators, so we can press and C note over here, open the filter. Press the tune button on the Godspeed. As you can hear, we have a really pleasing unison phasing effect. We can also start adding some reverb. And we can start using the tilt EQ, which can be accessed by pressing the routing button and turning the dry wet for the reverb. So now we have cut off the low end on the reverb, meaning that we have a more consistent low end. The pattern is fairly easy for the bass, but since it's twice as long as the normal 64 step pattern with 16th notes, in order to record it we can either use two patterns chained together, or simply activate the clock divider for the track, so each note turns into an 8th note. To do that we simply press track 1, and press 8th note. Now let's set the pattern to 64 steps and record our sequence. Lastly, let's make the lead voice. For this, we'll be using the second Godspeed into the Ghost over here. 
By setting the routing to mode number 2, we have filtered before the effect so we can utilize Ghost as our voice processor. Once again, we'll use the onboard envelope for the previous CA and also the filter cutoff. Reverb and delay to smear the sound to create a sense of distance in the mix. We'll connect the even odd output to the Ghost input number 1. The pitch output from the track number 3 to 1 volt productive input on the GOAT speed. The gate output from the ground control to trigger the sidechain envelope, which we'll use to control the previous and filter. And then we'll split it like this with a stackable cable. The previous A and another cable will go to the filter cutoff. And since we're using this God speed as a lead voice, we don't really need the normal sub oscillator over here. So what we can do is just take a cable and cut off the tip and just patch it to the sub oscillator. You can of course also use just a normal dummy cable to delete the sub oscillator from the even odd output. Additionally, we'll also add some cross modulation over here to make the voice a little bit more dirty and also add some noise by pressing the tune button and turning the timbre control. To create the lead pattern, we'll use two patterns of 64 steps long with 16th notes. So first we'll set the pattern to A, make sure it's 64 steps long, set pattern to B, make sure it's 64 steps long, and then simply chain them by pressing track 3 and A and B buttons. Now let's hit play and record our sequence. If you are a fan of Barrel, you probably already guessed that this track is called Distant Lights. So without further ado, let's play the whole track and enjoy the sounds. Now using the same set of sounds, let's quickly recreate the main theme from the track by Burial called Southern Comfort. Overall, the technique is fairly similar, only the bass now is going to be creating a stop sound. And to do the stop sound, you need to at least have two different tones. So for example, there is our bass. So both the Godspeed and the Airstreamer are doing the same note. And what we want to do is the offset the Godspeed oscillator by seven semitones up. So we'll just press this note and press the tune button. So let's fire up the sequence and play our main lead melody with the hands on the ground control.
As you can see, it's very much possible to make music like Barrel using a modular system. And of course, you can add more texture and noises to make it more authentic, but with this core patch, you should be equipped well enough to start making future garage beats. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned some new techniques. As always, the project file will be available in the description, so you can use it as a starting point for your own tracks at home. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe not to miss the next one. That's all for today, have fun making music and we'll see you next time.